As the Hamas-Israel war intensifies, the IDF maintains that it destroyed terror infrastructure and eliminated several terror operatives in Gaza, including senior members of uh, different terror organizations. The IDF has targeted more than 10 terrorists in a single precision aerial strike. Fighter jets struck and eliminated Rafat Harb Hussein Abu Hilal, the head of the military branch of the Popular Resistance Committee in Rafa. Uh, Akshat still with us on the broadcast. Akshat, over to you. What can you tell our viewers about uh, the latest crackdown against uh, Hamas terror? Well, yes, uh, uh, when, it, when it comes to uh, 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 killing Hamas militants, uh, then uh, Israel has been quite uh, offensive and aggressive in their stance because yesterday also uh, we saw how they uh, killed uh, the Hamas chief uh, 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 for hostages. Um, uh, and uh, and in in an airstrike only, uh, and and they also said that uh, idea also confirmed that the chief uh, of hostages uh, has been killed, uh, and uh, uh, before that also they have killed uh, several uh, militants of, of the Hamas because uh, because uh, even uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, today uh, we we saw that Israeli airstrike in the Gaza Strip uh, has uh, killed uh, many Hamas militants and uh, the uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu also and the. Uh, uh, IDF soldiers also, uh, they are saying that uh, we, uh, we will start Hamas uh, out of the community because uh, perhaps uh, that was the deadliest attack which uh, Israel had to witness uh, in, in uh, so many decades. And we also know that uh, Hamas commander Ayman Nufal, uh, who, who was also killed uh, by, by in, in an airstrike uh, from Israel, only was also a member of the organization's uh, general military council. So of course, uh, many Hamas uh, militants are being killed. Uh, because uh, the, the airstrikes uh, into Gaza uh, have now been increasing over the course of time. All right, Akshit. With that, I would like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast, uh, presenting all those details for our viewers. Uh, remember, the crackdown against Hamas's terror is still continuing. We had also, uh, you know, reflected that Israel is, of course, mobilizing uh, its forces. Um, joining us on the broadcast is uh, Colonel T.P. Tyagi, defense expert. Um, Colonel Tyagi, good morning and thank you for joining us on NewsX. We're of course uh, discussing Hamas, uh, Hamas terror and Israel's retaliatory strikes and crackdown against uh, the terror that Hamas has sown in Israel. Uh, ten operatives of Hamas have been, uh, you know, neutralized after a precision aerial strike. Uh, fighter jets have eliminated oh, Rafat Harb Hussein Abu Hilal, the head of the military branch, and uh, several other crucial Hamas operatives were also eliminated earlier. Meanwhile, Israel is uh, mobilizing its troops along the Gaza border. Um, what is your reaction to all these developments? No, whatever has been done by Israel is well known of his capability. Israel has shown it and has done it um, in 1967 and 1973. Either Hamas or Hezbollah, none of them have got the matching aerial power. In fact, not matching, they do not have any aerial power. So irrespective of the fact that whatever strength they have or whatever number of rockets they possess, uh, Israel is in a position to do it and now in a precision strike, 10 targets... Ten um, uh, Hamas terrorists have been killed in one strike. This is something very commendable. And that is what the uh, Israel has already uh, promised right in the beginning, that I will eliminate up to the last uh, terrorist of Hamas. This is, uh, uh, this is possible and uh, irrespective of the fact whether the Arab countries, Arab League or OIC, 57 countries, they take any decision against Israel, Israel for the sake of its existence will go all out and such strikes are bound to repeat. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.